So here we have it, Ducati's unbelievable sports tour of the Ducati Pikes Peak. Usually, as you all know, I ride BMW GSs, uh, which I absolutely love. I've had 30 new ones, and I thought to myself, I fancy a change. So I went out and bought the Pikes Peak. Um, and I have to say, I've absolutely loved this motorcycle. There's so, so many things about it I absolutely love. And people say to me, what do you prefer? Do you prefer your Ducati V4 Multistrada Pikes Peak or do you prefer a GS? Well, in honest truth, <laughs> it's not a BMW GS, clearly. This is uh, the BMW equivalent to a, an XR1000. The power on this bike is just unbelievable, very comfortable and the handling is incredible too. So it's only got a 17 inch front wheel, which, uh, which is small on a bike. So it turns in extremely quickly. The V4 motor, which is just incredible. It's 170 brake horsepower. Uh, and this one, this particular bike has got front to back full Akrapovic system, which is a very expensive extra. They call it the race exhaust. So I've been told that it's another six brake horsepower and it sounds incredible too. And like I said, I've absolutely loved this bike. 1,650 miles. I've used it every day for work, providing it's not raining. There's loads of little extras on this bike, which I've probably not mentioned, but it is the ultimate, ultimate sports tourer. And like I said, this is, in my eyes, the best touring Ducati I've ever made. So let's talk about the performance on this bike, which is absolutely phenomenal. The V4 motor is in the same as like the V4S Panigale's very well proven engine and uh, it's in this sports story which is crazy the only way to describe the power on this bike and is like a sony playstation game you, you wind the throttle back and it's a quick shifter so it's just instant it's bang 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 through the uh, through the gearbox and the exhaust note with it having a full acropovic system just sounds absolutely incredible the olin suspension really comes into its own as well uh, and like I was saying with the 17 inch front wheel, it turns in extremely quickly. Um, when I first rode the bike, it, it shocked me how quick um, it turns in so quickly. And it, uh, it caught me out a few times because I think, wow, you know, it's just dropped in so quick compared to a GS, which is also a great handling bike for its size. But this is the ultimate, like I said, sports tourer. This is, they've done this for somebody who wants to ride quickly uh, on and cover a lot of land and that's exactly what this bike does. Living with it um, day in, day out, riding to work, it's quite a good bike to filter with. Um, unlike the GS, the GS is very big uh, and sometimes you always think to yourself, how am I going to get through that? With this, it's, I'm quietly confident getting through all the traffic and filtering on my way into work. Even with the panniers on, it doesn't feel over big to ride. Um, and the seating position is really good as well. The Olin suspension comes into, it, into its own as well, which is the big extra on this bike. Um, and when you're riding it under, under performance, you can really feel it working and actively working with you on the bike. Uh, it's got all different modes on it, race mode and sport Evo and uh, touring mode. So all the suspension, if you get somebody to sit on the back of it, it can alter preloading. Very, very clever bike. Um, it's got anti-wheelie on it as well. Uh, because if you don't, as I've learned, the front comes up extremely quickly, uh, which I probably shouldn't say on camera, uh, but it's, uh, it's a very impressive bike. It's the bike which has got a lot of soul to ride. So I've been on a few adventures on this bike. I've not been abroad this year on this particular bike. However, I have got Italy very soon, which we're doing all the southern part of Italy, which I might do a blog actually and share that with you all, uh, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, but this is a bike where you can ride with your friends uh, and enjoy the scenery. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, I'll have a blip with all, all, the, all the boys and it comes into its own, it really does. Um, done Lake District on it, which I've really enjoyed. Uh, done the Hard Knots Pass and the Rhinos Pass, which is great fun. Uh, stopped in a few nice hotels. Um, and then on the motorway, you know, riding back, it's just, it's an easy bike to ride. It's, it's like a bike what feels like it's on your side, if that makes sense. So as you all know, I've, I practice what I preach and I ride every day. So riding this bike to work is, is brilliant for me. It's like an, a great alarm clock to wake up to in the morning, knowing that I've got my V4 Multistrada Pikes Peak to ride. It gets me excited. So two of my friends called me uh, last week and they said, James, we fancy coming up and seeing you and, and riding some of the roads up where you live. So I said, brilliant, let's do it. And a friend of mine came on a, 
a Ducati Multistrada 950S and the Movic friend came on something which is not much of a touring bike but it was great fun because I had to go on a, a new Triumph Rocket 3 GT. Uh, great fun, I mean brute power, the talk of it was fantastic uh, but it wasn't really suited for our road, you know, doing the switchbacks and the hairpins and you know, the fast touring, it's not that kind of bike. It was interesting and we swapped round and uh, my friend actually had a ride on this and he couldn't believe how easy and quick and precise it was to ride. And uh, I also rode the 950 and I enjoyed the 950. It was, it was a nice blend of both. And a friend of mine has only had his license for two years and it really suits him and he's, and he's getting into the Ducatis now, uh, which is all down to me, my fault, I'm afraid because once you start, you can't stop. Yeah, we had a great ride and we went all around the Peak District and I never had a plan really. I just picked the road from road and just enjoyed it. And I think that's part of biking. Um, when you've got no plan of action and you're just riding and picking up all the roads that you want to ride or you haven't ridden before or you've ridden before and you know it's a good road. Uh, and that's, that's what motorcycling is all about. And this was what that bike is actually built for. So in whole, what do I think of this bike? I think it's 10 out of 10. I think Ducati have done an incredible job on this bike uh, and I'm actually going to really miss it, uh, very much so. I think it's probably one of those bikes where I always think to myself, I really enjoyed having that and doing 1,650 miles on it. Um, but uh, I want someone else to enjoy it. It's time to let it go. That's what we do at the Bike Specialist. We want customers to experience our experience on these incredible machines and it's going to go to some very, very lucky customer. So this bike has got the full system on and I'd love you to listen to this.